Hi everyone. Oh, where's my camera? Down here. Okay. Um, I'm sorry it's really, really bright. My happy little corner is a bit of a disaster at the moment. Thanks to family members making themselves comfy wherever I make myself comfy. Um, so I'm just recording over here and I have these very bright lights on in the room. So I guess I'm going to kind of look a little washed out, paler than usual. But hey, I'm here. I spend so much time worrying about so many little things. Oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I've got to make it just, just so that I figured, you know what? I'm just going to show up. Better I show up and I look washed out than I don't show up at all. So first things first, and then I'm going to talk about a uh, June challenge with another channel that I'm going to partic be participating in to a certain degree, and then tell you my plans for uh, the channel coming up because I'm finally going to get working on it. But Firstly, I want to share with you, I received this lovely package in the, oh, wait, does it have an address on it? I don't think it has an address on it. <laughs> a long time ago from my good friend who has a channel here on YouTube, Tenille My Lamb. And look how pretty that envelope is, hmm? Oh, yeah, and here's the front of it. And she sent this to me a whole long time ago. This does have her address. Let me cover that up. A whole long time ago, and I kept thinking, you know what, i got to wait just for the right moment to share it and to show it. And I'm going to show it now. She sent me this sweet card with a message with it. And the card came in this envelope. Look how pretty her printing is. Isn't that lovely? And I hope, I'm going to look and see if I can hold this up. Do you see that uh, wax seal on there? That's the tree of life. Isn't that cool? And then she sent me a little gift. Look at this. Isn't this sweet? Look at this golden shimmery envelope. And this one, um, let me hold it. I hope you can see that letter T over there on the wax seal. That is so, so lovely. I, I love that. And look what she sent me. Look what she made for me. Isn't this beautiful? It shimmers a lot, so I'm going to try to hold it at an angle. This lovely bookmark. She knows how much I love to read. This has a little tassel on it. And here we've got a little, a little bee flying around. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love this so much. And I can't tell you, I, she is a wonderful, sweet, sweet soul. If you're not already following her, I'm going to be leaving either a card up here, for sure a link down in the description. Please visit her and check her out. She is a dear, dear lady. And she has been working on losing some weight now too, doing keto. And she, she does wonderful recordings of her food journal every week. Plus, she shares a lot of her life out there in Arkansas. Beautiful scenery with her sweet little pack of cats. So I hope you'll visit her and check her out. She's a dear soul, and I love her very much. Mm, thank you with all my heart. And I then got the other day um, from D Diets. She also has a channel, which will be either up in a card or down in the description, or maybe even both. She's a very nice, sweet lady also that I've got to know here through YouTube. And I got to tell you, I think that's the best thing about having a YouTube channel is that I have met so many dear, dear people that I feel have really enriched my life. And I'm really grateful for that. So please go give her a, a visit. She's on a whole foods plant based diet. And in the last year, I'm not sure how much she's lost in total since she started the plant based diet. But I know she said she once was over 300 pounds. I think she's now um at about 180 or so maybe 175 i know recently she had a small little regain and she's back on track but she's made huge changes in her life and she has full, she's full of vibrant energy because of that so i hope you'll go check her out too she's also a very dear soul and she kindly sent me to use in the car look at this uh, a cell phone stand <laughs> i am so excited about that um, my oldest son, Sam, he's turning 21 tomorrow. Well, he turned 21 on the Jewish calendar a couple of weeks ago, but tomorrow's his, what we call his uh, English, his Gregorian birthday. And uh, he likes celebrating both. Why not? Two birthdays a year. Who wouldn't want that? So here's the stand from D. And you see, look at this. This has a magnet that you put on the back of your phone case, and then you affix this to your car with one of these uh, suction cups. And then when you have your phone case with the magnet on it, plop, you stick it like that, and you can orient your phone in any direction that you want. And this also rotates. I don't have it doing that right now, but you can move it around uh, so you can affix the position of it. And that's going to come in really handy because, ah, God willing, next week Sam is taking me on a nice long drive. I think it's going to be about 
10 and a half hours. It might be 11 hours because we like taking side roads. Uh, we're going to drive out to the Gaspé here in Quebec, which is um, on the eastern tip of Quebec. It um, juts out, the peninsula juts out into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And uh, they have beautiful scenery over there. They also have the world famous Perse Rock, which is a huge rock that juts out of the sea. And when the tide is out, there's actually like a little bit of a, a sand land bridge that you can walk from uh, the mainland out to the rock. And that, of course, washes out. I mean, washes out. It's covered over with water. Uh, there's also uh, a World UNESCO site nearby. There's a general store that's over 100 years old that they keep up and running the way it looked originally. There's also an island nearby, which is home to, it's a bird sanctuary, which is, I think, home to over 200,000 gannets, type of a seabird. So I'm not sure if we're going to see that or if we're going to go uh, do a little bit of hiking. And yeah, it's got to be a little bit of hiking because I have zero energy, unfortunately. Um, up in a national park over there. Um, zero energy. I mean, obviously, the last year of COVID, I haven't been out as much as I had in a prior year, in the year prior, I'm sorry. Um, my gym closed in February of 2020. It's finally reopening next week. And yeah, I could have done exercises at home. And I don't know why this girl didn't get it into her brain and didn't do that. But my uh, gym is opening up again next Wednesday or Thursday. And I plan on getting back there. Um, I love the treadmill, particularly because when I get tired and I get really sore with my fiber, I can kind of hold on to the sides for a moment or two to, to like support my weight. And um, sorry for the sniffling. I think that's allergies, not COVID anymore. But um, my strength has really gone down from COVID. Yesterday I was coming up the stairs from outside. And there are about 20 stairs up into our home. And oh my gosh, my chest was so sore after just those 20 steps. Uh, I'm often out of breath, but yesterday was out of breath with chest soreness. So, excuse me. Um, I'm really looking forward to slowly but surely getting fit and healthy. I have not had a call back yet from the uh, surgical nurse as to the date for my gastric bypass, but she said it would be sometime in June. So I'm hoping to hear good news this week. Um, but I am officially tomorrow going to start um, my pre-op diet. When I say officially, hang on. Last week I had said I wanted to start my pre-op diet um, to be supportive to somebody in the Facebook group. But when I spoke to my physician, she had told me that considering that I was just coming off of COVID, I had only been three days without a fever, that it would be best to kind of like give my body a few more days of just normal, regular eating without any like stressors of shock to the system because I needed to recover a bit to be healthier for the surgery. Um, so I did that. I, I've had a few days of just regular eating. And um, starting tomorrow, I'm then going to go on uh, the pre-op diet. Now, it's not official in that it hasn't, I haven't been given a start date yet from the hospital, but um, I'm calling it official because that's when I'm actually going to start on June the 1st. I'm going to follow the protocols that they have set out at the hospital because I have a, um, what do you call it, a PDF with that printed out that they had given me back at a, an information session. So it's going to be 900 calories of a high protein, low sugar um, shake every day. And I'm buying a brand that they had recommended to use. And then if I want, I can also have a lot of steamed veggies, the low carb steamed veggies on the side. So I'll be doing that as well too. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to come back and I am going to share with you my starting to uh, statistics. I'm going to share my weight. I hope to share my measurements, my BMI. I'm going to share what my last um, HA1C blood glucose reading was. I'm going to take a look at what my resting blood pressure is at the moment. I have a small monitor at home. And I'm going to also share uh, what my resting heart rate is at the moment. And God willing, we'll see how over the course of the year, after the surgery in particular with losing the weight and with my exercising regularly, how, God willing, those numbers all change for the better so that I will be healthier and stronger. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys tomorrow on June the 1st. And uh, as well, I might upload a very short little chat, like for five minutes, because there are a group of ladies who here on YouTube under the hashtag, I think, of Tea Tuesday. Um, share like little updates every week. They seem like a very nice uh, group. I, I stumbled upon them last week through... Um, a new friend that I've made through, I think it was Dee Diet's channel again. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. But her name is Deb's Way again. Channel link up down or below somewhere. Just look. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I think I've rattled on enough. 
on enough. Thank you for listening to me. And um, yeah, because this is long, I'm going to share tomorrow when I share my stats, what my plans are for the channel going forward. Alrighty. I wish you all well. Again, thank you so much to <laughs> Sweet Tenille My Lamb. I love this so, so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Why am I kidding this? I want to kiss you. Sorry. <laughs> And thank you, D Diets, for sending me this uh, phone mount, car, cell phone car mount for my car. I'm going to be making use of that when we do our trip out to the Gas Bay next week to share with you some of the scenery. And I pray everyone is doing well. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay safe. Let me remind myself how to speak English. And I'll see you all again very soon. Good night. God bless you all. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back. I realized when I was taking a look to edit the video that I had said I was going to mention a, Ju a June challenge and I had totally forgotten to do that. So the channels that are hosting the June challenge are It Is A Keto Thing, otherwise known as A Foxy Mess with Chris here in BC Canada and also with Will of the channel The Grind. Again, I'm going to link them above, down below, wherever I remember to do it. They've got this really great little calendar to go along with the challenge. And they have things on there like every day you're going to try to challenge yourself to walk 5,000 steps if you can. But you do what you can. You don't worry about it if you can't meet that, that goal. And they have things on here like stretching and doing yoga, going for a walk, spending one day tracking your macros just to get, get get more familiar with what it is you're eating, trying OMAD, sharing a non-scale victory, trying a new recipe, things like that. So I'm going to link actually down below, not just to um, It Is A Keto Things cha channel, but to the video directly where she talks about it so that you can follow along if you want to try some of what they've got. They did this great calendar actually in color. I just printed it in black and white off of Hubby's printer. So I'm sorry I had forgot to mention that earlier. It's like with my fibro brain, sometimes if I don't have it written down and like right in front of me, I totally forget what it is I want to do or what it is I want to say. So, alrighty, that's it for now. I've spoken long enough. Thank you for your patience with me, guys. And I'll be back again tomorrow telling you what I'm going to be doing with, with this body and with my, my channel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, going forward. <laughs> Bye.